a quote. Prison either creates monsters or saints. An old head had told me that, quote, he had been locked up for 32 years in prison at the age of 16 for a crime in which, in his words, he said he did not commit. All of his family had gone. They had passed away. He had no support. And even if he wanted to fight for his freedom and prove his innocence, who would back him up? But then again, notice I said, even if he wanted to, he would often be heard from the guards talking to the guards saying, hey, even if I made parole, I'm just going to catch a charge so I can stay. I don't know the world and I don't know a woman. Crazy, but he has some wisdom. So now I'm transferred Haynesville Correctional Center hole to Sussex to uh, state prison hole. I'm back. I put a sign in the window. The window's about this wide, a little bit longer. Uh, with the sign that says my name to let the brothers know that I'm there. They seen it. They started to send stamps. That's usually what happens when brothers rock with you. They send stamps, crossword puzzles, candy bars if they can because it's hard to eat back there. The stamps are used for things like for the purchase of tobacco. I would purchase tobacco so then I could take the tobacco and buy trays so I could eat. Especially when there were shifts there that I could. Um, there were no answers. I didn't know when I was going to get out. Um, and it was hard. If anybody's never been to the hole, I'll continue to say it, it is a very cruel, harsh thing. And that's why in some states they, they're starting to outlaw it for a certain period of time, the effects it has on the mental. In order for me to leave the cell that I was in in a hole, I had to be shackled uh, around the waist, to my wrist, to my ankles, and a dog leash would be clipped to the chain behind me around my waist and I would be led to the shower or to the rec yard. The shower you would be locked into and the rec yard was nothing more than a cage that was just about the size of a dog kennel. You could stand up in it. You could not lay down in it. It was, you couldn't do anything. You could just feel the sun and breathe the air. And Sometimes you had to bite the bullet and, and go through that dog kennel just to feel somewhat human and get out of the concrete and the cold inside. Mental health declining, ready to go. I'm ready to get out the hole. I cannot take it anymore. Let me out. I, I remember every time a guard came by a counselor, a nurse, let me out. I would yell it out sometimes. Lose it. When you're in a hole, you're surrounded by a bunch of people. All you hear is screaming and banging. It's just people that can't deal with the quiet. They got to make noise, man. George Jackson said if you were in there for at least one minute, it would change your life forever, the segregation unit. Um, and boy, this had became my life over some, the course of some months, close to a year. And why should a human being have to adapt to that? When no charge, no institutional actual infraction was given. But this is the system. They can do what they want. You are no longer free. They will do with you as they will. But eventually, my name got called. And I was able to go into general population. Back on the compound. Back on Sussex 2. Back in the Terradon. And... This began the series of a bunch of wild, crazy events. 